Hi everybody! I hope everybody's having a nice week already, kicking it off. And I'm pretty psyched to share I'm planning a Spirit Junkie European book tour. I'm going to be uh, hitting up Paris and Berlin and spending two weeks in London lecturing in several different locations. So stay tuned on GabbyB.TV on my speaking page for all the details. So if you're out in the European region, <laughs> um, come hang with me. Come check, out, check it out. Get your spirit junkie on. And I know uh, my books are launching in the UK. So they launched Spirit Junkie in September and Add More Ink to Your Life is launching. It's like a little backwards in the UK, but leave it to them to do it in a neat way. Uh, Add More Ink to Your Life is launching this June. So I'll be out for the first two weeks in June in London. Woo, get ready, London spirit junkies. Um, so today's topic is uh, was inspired by a, a little holy instant run-in with a dear friend of mine today. And as the course teaches that there are no chance encounters, and I recognize all of my beautiful moments to connect with others as opportunities to learn and grow and heal and teach more. So I ran into a good friend of mine who is awesome, he's smart, he's creative, and he's also a little bit of a head case. He lives in this way where his default is misery, and he often chooses to go to the negative place, or he chooses to be more worried than than grateful, or he'll look at the lack rather than the abundance. And he's also a very spiritual person, so he's quite aware of his behavior, but sometimes that awareness is even more frustrating because when we know we're doing something, it becomes even more uh, of a reason for our ego to attack us and say we're not good enough because I know better and I'm still doing this. And so finally, we just had one of our typical little Gabby sessions where we were getting a little uh, walk through the neighborhood and chatting about his stuff. And... Finally, he just said, why am I like this? Why, why is it that I choose to be miserable? And I pointed out to him that choice is the operative word. We choose our experiences. And it's really important to recognize that we have this opportunity in every single moment to choose misery or choose love. And it's likely that many of us in our own ways have created that fear-based blueprint that is a miserable perspective. And it is a lot to recondition that misery and it is a lot to recondition that default to fear. But we have to follow what the Course teaches us, which is I choose to see happiness instead of this. And recognizing that I can choose my experience. And so I suggested him, look, it's not about, and he's like, yeah, I know. He's, you know, obviously, like I mentioned, a spiritual guy. So he's got all the language. He's like, I know I can do the gratitude list. And I know I can go pray. And I know I can meditate. And I know I can get centered. And it works. But then I'm still, my default is always fear. And I just gently explained to him that this isn't just one big, I make a choice and it's gone. This is a moment to moment conscious contact with our inner guidance system. A moment to moment decision. Every, every waking and sleeping moment of our life, our ego gives us opportunities to detour into fear. And we have to stay committed, and we have to stay willing, and we have to stay open to choosing a more loving perspective in every given moment. So whether it be forgiving our thought, reminding ourselves that happiness offers me everything I want, forgiveness offers me everything I want, I choose to see happiness instead of this, and recognizing that it is a choice. And yes, it's wonderful to, to look at all of the different ways that we have so much and to focus on what we can be grateful for. But I think in, a, in the greatest scheme of things, the greatest understanding of what it is to be on a spiritual path is to make the moment-to-moment -moment commitment to choose to see love instead of fear. And it's boiling down everything that we do each week in all of these video blogs to really making a moment-to-moment -moment decision. And 
he knows that he gets that and of course his ego will take him out five minutes later but that's the way that we all are functioning it's the ego has us in a headlock the ego is so much stronger than the loving voice and by making that moment to moment decision and consciously choosing love every given moment that we have an opportunity is what helps us build that love muscle and weaken our faith and fear and weaken the power that that fear voice has and so this is a choice that we make. Happiness is a choice I make. And that is your mantra this week. Happiness is a choice I make. Take that with you. Bring that into your moment-to-moment -moment thought processes. And if you have an inclination to go into misery town, which we all will, make sure that you bring that affirmation into your beautiful holy instant and say, happiness is a choice I make. So I hope you enjoy that and take it one moment at a time and stay in that container of choosing peace instead of fear. Have a wonderful week, everybody. If you are in New York or on live stream video, you can join me for my Your Highest Self Lecture Friday night. I'm really thrilled about this. It's about awakening our authentic power. The details are below. Join me. I love you all. Have a good week. Bye.